Good morning. Today we are talking about respect. Our series is called Fired Up and we are fired up because we know Jesus and we can respect him. One of the best ways that we can serve Jesus is by worshiping him with our whole heart. So let's take time today and worship together. When the world is hurting when life is so confusing I am sure of one thing God's by my side Yeah When I'm feeling lonely And I start to worry I know God you're near me And you're always by my side Yeah and I can lift my hands up to you I can raise my voice and sing You are who I put all hope in I will trust you in everything Is hurting. Life is so confusing. 
guys, it's me again, Miss Jen, and I am here today to talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Bendibo. Mm. Um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abadabado. Also, we're talking about a king, King Nebuchadnezzar, and of course, his ginormous statue that is 90 feet tall. You would look like a little ant and nine feet wide, which is pretty big. Now, we ended in Daniel chapter 3, verse 12. So I'm going to go on and let's get our Bible. You guys got it? Awesome. And we're going to turn to chapter 3 of Daniel. And I'm going to start in verse 13. Now, I'd like to remind you that every time that there was a musical instrument that played that everybody was supposed to stop and bow down before king nebuchadnezzar's statue not just him he wasn't even there it was his statue shadrach meshach and i'm gonna sew um replied oh nebuchadnezzar we do not need to defend ourselves before you if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue that you set up. I'm fairly certain that this did not make the king very happy. Guys, let's look at Daniel 3 verse 19. It says, Nebuchadnezzar was so furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and on goes the show, that his face became distorted with rage. Show me your best ragey face pretty good. He commanded that the furnace be heated up seven times hotter than usual. So already fire is really hot. You can't even go by it, right? It will burn you. And now he wants it to be seven times hotter in that furnace. Then he ordered some of the strongest men of his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Where's your toe? No. And throw them in the blazing fire. So this is no joke, you guys. Now, I want to talk to you about being consumed by something. To be consumed by something is to just really think about that one thing or just be like, I don't know, like that's the one thing you can think about. That's the one thing you can do. That's the one thing that's always on your mind always on your mind. Now, here's the deal. Jesus should be what consumes us, what consumes our brain, what helps us think. But Shadrach, Meshach, and away we go. I gotta go. Hmm. Anyway, they, that works, they were consumed by Jesus, right? They didn't care what King Nebuchadnezzar did to them. They believed that God would take care of them. But let's talk about King Nebuchadnezzar. What was he consumed by? He was consumed by power. He was consumed by demanding respect that really only belongs to God, right? And he was so consumed by it that he was even more angry than he was initially. He gave him a chance and then he said, forget it. They're out. I win. They didn't respect me. They didn't bow down to me. I'm going to take care of this. Here's what happened. So they tied them up and they threw them into the furnace, fully dressed in their pants, their turbans, their robes, and other garments. And because the king, in his anger, had demanded such a hot furnace, the flames even killed the soldiers as they threw the three men in. And we are going to stop there. 
Nebuchadnezzar, Whoa. Babylonian king. Whoa. Thought he was mighty, Whoa. but was a ding a ling. Whoa. He built an image, Whoa. made it out of gold. Whoa. Gathered the people Whoa. and said, Behold, Whoa. I've got this image. Plays. You all must bow down oh, and you if you don't down, obey, I've got this furnace Whoa. burning hot with fire. Whoa. I'll throw you in there, Whoa. you will expire. The people in the land did just as they were told. The music started playing, they bowed before the girls. They feared the brutal king, what he promised he would do. Everybody, they obeyed him. Everybody but a few. What will you do when you're put to the test? Will you obey God or bow down like the rest? He won't forsake you and be your best friend. Shadrach and Meshach Whoa. and Abednego Whoa. heard the king's order, Whoa. but they all said no. No, 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 no. Whoa. Nebuchadnezzar, keep and hopping mad. Whoa. So you won't bow down, Whoa. but I'll make you wish you had. Whoa. Oh, God can save us. This we know is true. And we still won't listen to you We'll heat it up to fire, seven times as hot The soldiers threw them in, we're burned right there on the spot The king looked in the fire, looked and was amazed So right now, King Nebuchadnezzar He's uh, thinking he's all pretty hot stuff, right? <laughs> and Shadrach, Meshach, and t to and fro they're in an all-consuming fire, so hot that the people that even just kind of said, go in there, were killed just from the heat of the flames. But God shows up. And we're going to talk about that next week. And as we continue to respect the Lord, then out of that respect will come respect for all of the things that are good and all of the things that the Lord has designed us to do. Let's pray, you guys. Dear Jesus, we come before you. We come before you knowing that there are lots of things that can get our attention, but we ask that you get our attention and that you consume us. Lord, we continue to ask that we can learn to respect, that we can learn to be more like you. Thank you for this lesson that we can learn today. Thank you for today and help us be the best people that we can be. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.